Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Rechah Hakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, not respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Peace. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Barakadam to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwa that are listening and learning. It's your brother Yahweh Sah from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And just to think, in, in a century, or over a century, or since we've been tight packed in slave ships and brought over here to the Americas, nothing has changed. For all the marching and the silver and the equality rights that you want to march for and no justice, no peace, all this shit <clears throat> you thinking that you're going to get off a of humbug is not going to change. So what makes you think you marching, all right, with these weapons showing Esau, all right, the, the, the carnal spirit that you have, knowing he'll blow your damn back out, as it's been proven, with Tulsa, with Rosewood, Greenwood, uh, South Carolina, all right, uh, the Red Summer. You forget about that. And this is what our people, uh, you know, as, as it says in Hosea 4 and 6, what you've seen, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You know, we're going to get into these precepts. Lord willing, this will be edifying and comforting, right? Romans 8 tells us, verse 5, that for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, knowing that the spirit brings peace when you're tapped into it. But what does carnality bring? It brings death. As it reads in this second, uh, this sixth verse, it says, "For the, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Not only are you gonna have peace, but you also shall retain your life. You shall be preserved by being spiritual, by minding the things that is of the spirit." And again, over a hundred years since 1921 up until now, what has changed? Absolutely nothing. You see, verse 7 tells you because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. Simple Google definition of enmity, hostility, the state or feeling or being act actively opposed uh -oh, or hostile to someone or something. Haven't you got enough of uh, slavery, captivity? Haven't you got enough on paying debts? Subject to payments. Have you got enough of being oppressed by your enemies? Obviously not. Because you're continuing on to be hostile and to oppose Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's decree. Which is to what? Follow him. Be spiritually minded. It says, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. You understand that? So, yeah, you can put yourself in an array uh, with uh, like-minded uh, men and women, blue, blonde, red hair, uh, 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 old-ass AR-15s, old-ass Dracos, old-ass rusty-ass pistols, only to protest and march for what cause. Who are you marching? What, you, what are you marching for? As you can see, those devils have paid... The so-called Chinese, they have paid the so-called Arabs. Yeah, at Guantanamo Bay. Go Google that. They have paid everybody that they have put in subjection up under their rule. Which when you peel the layer black and look at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, even they did the Native Americans horribly wrong. And in most cases, they are worse than the uh, ghettos and the projects. Yeah, those reservations with no running water. All right, no uh, substantial electricity. You people are, 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 are living it up out here, man. And just because you get a few stimulus checks, you go out and purchase all the weapons in the world but have no ammo to back it up. You see that? Let's go to something real quick. First Corinthians, uh, Second Corinthians 10, Salakia. This is four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. And just because you see this new 
um, this new wave of, uh, you know, these other countries like China and Russia smelling blood is because of this truth is going out to the four corners of the earth. You understand? So by you marching, by you joining uh, your elbows with the enemies out there holding the black fist up, and you people are fucking lost, man. You see? Let's look up the word carnal. Simple Google. All right? It's out there forever. <laughs> it says sexual. It's out there. Yeah, your sexual lust for having a gun on your hip or across your shoulder. It don't take number one, one straight bullet. Ask Boosie about that. It says, relating to physical, especially sexual needs and activity. Well, let's go, in, let's go a little deeper into the blue level. You know how Esau is. He, will, he wants to throw you off. All right? Fleshly. All right? Having a nature of flesh under control of animal appetites. <laughs> You're trying to fulfill your animal appetite, which we're all beasts, right? Uh, so, simple play said and put pertaining to the flesh, you know? These are not our weapons of warfare, man. The weapons of warfare is what we will and yield every day, man. All right? With this sword, the golden sword, at that, right? This is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. It says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Hey, those that live by the sword shall die by the sword. You know? And you can tell that's, that's very unorganized. You have people from all over the United States just come and march on Tulsa. You want to be a part of something so bad. Well, that part of something is a part of, is a doctrine, is a false doctrine that's going to lead to your death, your destruction. You see? It says, but he that sowed to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So you, gotta, you have, a, have, a, uh, have to have a spiritual outlook. On what's taking place in this earth today. His main thing is these prophecies are popping off. If you had any uh, quarter or half of a quarter of a brain, you'll know that prophecies are popping off. You'll know we don't have any strength, any power in our hand. A justice and judgment is the habitation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's throne, man. So that's who we look to to come uh, recompense our enemies. All right? To. Uh, uh, Make the the devils and 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 other heathen nations to restore that which was eaten by the locusts and the and, and the canker worms. If you understand that, if you have a spirit to receive it, yeah, because they took everything. Right? They even took your name, gave you another name, gave you a number to go along with that name, and tracked you by a birth certificate. What well, you think that's going to lead to? It's going to lead to a digital <laughs> certificate. Right? We know where this is going. <laughs> and these, these, the same people that you see marching and locking elbows with the enemies are the same ones, all right, that's going to uh, fall headlong on the taking that, that new world order process, that, that, that step to the new world order, which they're trying to crown. All right? So, again, if you sow it to the flesh, you're going to reap that corruption that you sow, show it to, uh, sow it to, right? Now, let's go to the Apocrypha. Because, so like, it was said in Judith that we have no power. Right? Let's get it. This is how they think of us. Judith 5 and verse 23. For say they, we will not be afraid of the face of the children of Israel. Look here, man. These people got training. These people start off 17, 18 years old uh, in enlisting into the armed forces, the Marines. Right, some of them are, uh, are good enough to go into special ops, special elite forces, all right, the Marines. This is a, a, a hell of a conglomerate that, this, that these people have, man. What makes you think you can stand up against these people? You ask your, your ancestors, ask your people, Ask the ones that survived the tussle, uh, Black Wall Street massacre, man. 
You think them people ain't have guns and rifles? Huh? They had their own fucking city, man. But did they prevail? No. Because that is not the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. If it's not commanded of him, if it, if it doesn't come from him, it's going to come to not. Same thing with this, uh, this, this, this black guns matter type shit, man. How, how, how fucking dumbed down can you be, man? How sadish can you be? You're a habitual drunkard off the Babylon Jews thinking that you're going to outdo Esau with his blessing. Let's read this again. Judith, the book of Judith, chapter 5, verse 23. For say they, we will not be afraid of the face of the children of Israel. For lo, it is a people that have no strength, nor power for a strong battle. Man, they'll wipe you out. Man, they, they, they'll just come to your homes while you're getting a good night sleep. After you just finished eating your Cajun fries, <laughs> your hot wings. Yeah, you lay on your couch. Them folk are kicking your dough, man. They know each and every one of y'all, man. Face recognition. Hey, just by, again, your ID. And some of you people are, are, are walking through blind. Y'all coming into this blindly, you know. Hey, the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall into a ditch. This is, this is ignorance from our people. And again, some of y'all so blind. Y'all have families. Y'all have children that you're going to put in harm's way. So we know y'all are going to get cut off and die. You see that? If you don't change, if you don't uh, turn back to your how about Shem Yahweh Shah, meaning repent. Let's end this off in the book of 2 Maccabees. Uh, let's go to 15. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 15. I'm going to start at 19. And it reads, Also, they that were in the city took not the least care, being troubled for the conflict abroad. And this is a conflict we're going to have to deal with, Jacob's trouble. All right? The, uh, the elect shall be scarcely saved, man. You know? Verse 20, And now, when, as all look, what shall be the trial, Jacob's trouble, <laughs> and the enemies were already come near, Hey, they're going to cast a trench about you, man. You know, it says, and the army was set in array. What they set in array for, man? To come up against the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Hey, we are all our God's children, right? Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But out of that, uh, out of those children, right, it's going to be the elect called out of, up out of that. It's going to only going to be the elect delivered up out of that, that trial. All right, it's, it's, we're gonna be delivered up out of that. Uh, uh, those armies that set in an array, the enemies that were already come, because they already know. It says, and the beast conveniently placed, and the horsemen set in wings. This is a battle about to take place here in Maccabees, right? But check out what Maccabees said. All right, verse twenty-one, Maccabees, right? Seeing the coming of the multitude, and this is what we do, and this is why prayer is needed as well, because this is a day where the prophets are not going to be out on the highways and hedges. It's going to be very, very much trouble, darkness, even great darkness, right? Gloominess, a day of wrath, a day of fury, all right, a day of revenge. It's going to be hell out on these streets soon to come, all right? So let's read this. Uh, Maccabees seeing the coming of the multitude and the diverse preparations of armor and the fierceness of the beast, see, stretched out his hands towards heaven. This is what he did. He didn't take up no arms. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> say, hey, go get the Jayco out of the trunk. You know, and that's even, yeah, you got to, yeah, you ain't even prepared, man. What's about to take place, man? Just because you marching. <laughs> It says, stretched out his hands towards heaven and called. What? What did he do? He called upon the Lord that worketh wonders. <whistles> and y'all going to wonder how is these men counted amongst the most highest children. 
You see there? It says, knowing. And this is why he called upon you, how about Shem Yahushai, man? All right, this is why he sent up that prayer, man, right? Because of the stories and the acts of old on how Yahweh by Shem Yahushai delivered us out of the hands of, of the Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? See that? So by putting us in remembrance of these things, we, we should know that, okay, damn, this is about to take place again on a, on a hell of a scale, a wider scale, right? It says knowing... Right? That victory cometh not by arms. Let's read that again. Knowing. <laughs> hey, Maccabees was a hell of a warrior, man. All right? A warrior, a, a warrior of warriors. Strength, strong, strategic, plot planning. But guess what he did? He stretched out his hands towards heaven. Even though the mighty man that he was, him and his brothers. All right? And the armies abroad, he still stretched forth his hands, knowing that victory cometh not by arms. But even as it seemeth good to him, he giveth it to such as are worthy. And Lord willing, we will be worthy in that day, that we'll get uh, uh, these super power, uh, uh, superhuman like strengths, man. Okay? So let's continue. 22. Therefore, in his prayer, he said after this manner, O Lord, thou didst send thine angel in thine time of Ezekiel's king of Judah and didst slay of the host of the Sinatra, uh, uh, Sinna Cherub, Salaki, host of the Sinna Cherub, and hundred of four score and five thousand. Yeah. Hey, Yahweh is going to work wonders again. You see? Check this out. It says, Wherefore, uh, now also, O Lord of heaven, send a good angel. Uh-oh. So that means if this is the good angel he's going to send, there must be a bad angel out there making you go uh, take up arms. <laughs> Come on, people. It says, Send a good angel before us for a fear and dread unto them. You see that? And in this case, this good angel is going to be Michael, the archangel, is going to stand up for the elect, man. Right? End it off in 24. And through the might of thine arm, let those be stricken with terror that come against thy holy people to blaspheme. And he ended thus. You see that? So now, as, as this lesson is coming to a close, we know what we should be praying for. <laughs> you see that? Deliverance. We're praying for that strength to endure these troubles that's coming. Because damn sure arms ain't going to do it. So with that, Lord willingness is edifying and comfort. On to the next one. Shalom.